smell what the rock is cooking. Hello and welcome to the WWE Wrestling Talk Show with Reese Rock Jones and John Randy Smith as we bring you our pre show to NXT TakeOver 30. Boston. NXT TakeOver Boston. But it was going to be coming at you from the TV Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, but due to a certain COVID 19. The Boston Mayor Marty Walsh announced the suspension of all large scale gatherings and that no permit would be issued for an event that could draw a large crowd of more than September 7th. As such, the event was moved to the Full Sail University along with the new name change. Yes, this NXT TakeOver was and is still scheduled as a part of SummerSlam weekend. SummerSlam itself has been relocated, but we'll bring you that So in a few days. On Saturday. So, now we move on to the actual match card for NXT TakeOver 30. Starting with the ladder match, which seems to be the way to go here, for the vacated... North American Championship. So now, let's take you through why the championship has been vacated. Yes. On NXT Great American Bash Week 2, Keith yes. Lee faced the then, I should say then, NXT Champion in a title for title winner takes all match for the North American and NXT Championship. A week after winning this match, or two weeks, one or the other, Keith Lee vacated the North American Championship. And now it was put up in a ladder match, just like it was when it was first uh, created. Bronston Reed, Cameron Grimes, and the Velveteen Accused, also known as the Velveteen Dream. Yes, the first three were qualified by winning triple threat matches. Yes. Then they had the six competitors, no, four, I should say, competitors, who were not pinned in triple threat matches, face each other in one-on-one matches. 
Johnny Gargano had to defeat. And has to defeat Rich Holland. And the Velveteen Dream was able to beat Finn Balor with a little bit of help from someone who we'll get to. The second match and the first match to be made official, really, was the NXT Women's Championship match. Oh, yes. With Io Shirai defending against Dakota Kai, who will be accompanied by... Raquel Gonzalez. Oh. Since Io Shirai has held the championship since TakeOver in your house, and she was able to take the championship from Charlotte in a chip or flat match, also involving Rhea Ripley. I say she needs to hold on to it for a little bit longer before hopefully, before hopefully losing it back to... Uh, Leo the play. Yes, I would agree on with you. Now, this next match has funeral written all over it for one of the competitors. Yes, first of all, let's rewind. Yes, On July 23rd of this year, Pat McGaffey's radio show On, on his radio show, he got into an altercation with uh, Adam Cole. Not, Baby. not the wisest move. No, it's not. We've halted Adam Cole to swear at him and shove a producer. Yes. And in other words, mocking Adam Cole for being such a small guy. <laughs> but of course, this doesn't mean she doesn't know anything about wrestling. You don't have to be the biggest guy to be the best wrestler. Yes. And Cappy was then invited by Triple H to try and work out some differences, and he was a guest commentator on last week's NXT. Yes, and, but then after having some uh, another sort of heated confrontation with. Uh, Adam Cole, he would wind up punting Adam Cole, Randy Orton style. Since when did I get permission from Pat McAfee to steal my punt? <laughs> that would then cause for the 2-2 uh, two, two square off in a match that take over when Pat McAfee has decided to play wrestler. And accept Adam Cole's challenge. Now, the slightly downside of this is that WWE has a history of putting over non than people in these kind of matches. For example... For example, Kevin Federline. Floyd Mayweather. John Stewart. Tyson Fury. But realistically, uh, realistically, I would say Adam Cole's got to come out on this. Otherwise, his reputation is buried. Now, even during the NXT Championship reign of the last few weeks of uh, the reign of Adam Cole... Killian Cross seemed to be targeting the uh, NXT Championship. Yeah. Yes, that be it became apparent that that's where they were going to go as soon as uh, Keith Lee won the championship. However, Keith Lee made a fatal mistake last week on NXT. Yes, he went to Regal and got into sign a contract that says that I, Keith Lee, will not touch 
carry, carry him across until TakeOver 30. And as Scarlett Bordeaux signed the contract... You mean carry him across? She managed to slip something into the contract. Equally opens it up. Woof! Fireball to the face. Blinding Keith Lee. So... Now, where have you seen that before? Uh, that's that would I would say is something we'd expect from Kane of the Undertaker. <laughs> something like that. But Killian Cross, no pun intended, you are a dead man walking. Ah, we. I feel like we should point this out that this match is more likely than not going to take place on the pre-show. The three teams are Breezango of Fandango and Tyler Breeze, Only Rokan and Danny Butch of One Hero and the Magician Legion, and. Not counting the uh, current interim cruiserweight champion. Uh, Uh, Which team do we think is going to walk out and become the one contenders to Imperium? Well, Imperium is a heel tag team. Yes. So, I hate to say it, they're not going to do heel versus heel. So, so, so maybe Rizongo, maybe? I was going to say, I think that rules out Phantasma. So, it's either so it's going to be Polly Lorcan and Danny Birch or Rizongo to win. Now, do you find folks remember what we said about Finn Balor and that certain individual? Yes, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so the other team team was able to qualify for the North American Championship ladder match by beating Finn Balor. However, that did not come about without a little bit of help from Timothy Thatcher. Yes, Timothy Thatcher would distract Finn Balor enough for the Velvet Team Dream to hit his finisher with the Purple Raymaker for the 1 2 3. Due to that. Finn Balor will now face Timmy V. Thatcher at TakeOver 30. Yep, in a one-on-one match. And personally, I hope Finn Balor wins. Uh, I can I can kind of see why they haven't done it, but I'm actually surprised that they haven't put Velveteen's, uh, Finn Balor into a championship uh, match. Picture. I mean... He, he's a vet. I, I can kind of see it because he's a veteran of uh, NXT, and I suppose he's kind of there to put over the to put over such help for next generation of NXT stars. So let us run you through the match card for this Saturday's NXT Takeover 30 one more time. In a ladder match for the vacant NXT North American Championship, we have Bronson Reed. Damien Priest, Cameron Crimes, and the Velveteen Dream. Io Shirai will defend the NXT Women's Championship against the Dakota Kai, who will have Raquel Gonzalez in her corner. Adam Cole will welcome Pat McCarthy to the world of professional wrestling. <laughs> Keith Lee will defend his NXT Championship against Karrion Cross, who will have Scarlett in his corner. Please Ango will face only Rockin and Danny Butts and Legara from Del Fantasma in a triple threat tag team match to become number one contenders for the NXT Tag Team Championships. And finally, Finn Balor will take on Timothy Thatcher. NXT TakeOver Boston, I mean 30, will take place on Saturday, August 22nd, so just over 48 hours, at Forsay University. 
The next night, of course, we have the biggest, aka emptiest, party of the summer. We shall, we shall come at you with a show just hours before TakeOver 30 goes on the air, where we shall bring you the finalised, not hopefully I should say finalised, that's card for SummerSlam. But yeah. until then... Peace for Rock Jones, and he's been... See you soon for SummerSlam.